Hello and welcome back to our X4 Foundation Space Trucker. Let's play poorly. We are heading home to the warehouse to drop off some stuff. What, what exactly are we carrying? Oh dear. Well, that happened. Uh, so here's what's going on. My uh, my throttle and my stick uh, reset. I will be right back. I'll get that fixed. All right, so one of the weird things about the X56 controller, the Logitech SciTech X56, is that if you restart your computer, there's a good chance that your um, uh, that your extents, your your uh, your calibration will be off, and you kind of just have to reset it. And that's what happened here. I got pushed way off my mark. But yeah, so we're heading back. Where are we going? What have we got on board here? Oh yeah, microchips. We're dropping off microchips uh, to our warehouse so that they can then get sold. We got anybody here doing anything? Uh, no, nothing there, nothing there. But what do we have? Let's grab some of that money. Advanced composites, antimatter cells are what we have in stock. Let me go ahead and autopilot that so I can uh, take a look. Antimatter cells are at 149. That's not bad. It's not great. Have you sell? Oh, down to 140. 139. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Now, the other item: advanced composites. Okay, let's see if we can get some advanced composites in here. Six forty eight is decent. Oh, five sixty three is less decent, but let me see if I can unload the uh, cannot. All right, I can't unload the rest, so I'll just hang on to those as well. How much money do we have? Ah, half a mil, that's it. Well, if we were in this for riches, we would have been into the wrong business. Shoot. Docking granted. Oh, come on. I was right there. Oh, we're going to be yo-yoing back and forth all day. There we go. Successfully done. All right, let's get these microchips offloaded. It's an honor to have you aboard. 
That's our drill doing. Completely full up on ore now. You're almost full up on silicon after already just going and mining one. So this is still a viable, uh, still still working there. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so we got some trades going on. Who, what are you doing? Medical supplies? Oh yeah, you're just trying to get rid of your shit, aren't you? That was a cock raiding party over there. Well, let's hope we can avoid that. Okay, now let's find something else to buy. Plasma conductors. How do those look? Nah. Superfluid coolant is at 108. 113. Oh boy. Antimatter cells can be bought again. Where are they? Are they are they somewhere close by? Yeah, they're up here. All right, let's see if we can uh, grab some more at 112. We're actually going down that way, aren't we? But that is the closest. Yeah, that's going to be faster. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission I feel like what I might do is run this season, as it were, for maybe three or four more episodes to whatever episode 25 is, and then call it for the season, as it were. Uh, I guess that's just that's what they are. Um, and restart with a different configuration uh, of custom start in from, uh, elements. So, for example, I think what I, one of the things I want to do is get... Um, Asteroids, satellites placed everywhere. I would like to Entering get enough uh, information on the on the galaxy, on the game universe, so that I don't have to worry about missing trades. Because the thing about doing a trader, uh, uh, doing a trader run through, is that you, you're really kind of gimped a bit uh, in a way that is. Kind of unrealistic, uh, because you would think that in the future, especially since there we know there is faster than light communication, you would think that a production facility would want people to know what its prices are, right? They would they would spam that information to everybody all the time. Uh, so while I understand the gameplay reasons to make exploration and satellite dropping a, 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 an important part of the game. If you're focusing on trading rather than domination and exploration, it just ends up kind of hobbling you a bit, and uh, in a, in a in a way that's not exactly fun. So I think what I'll do is I'll just run a few more episodes through here and uh, get to a good stopping point, and then uh, go on a little bit of a hiatus, hiatus, and come back with uh, a new uh, kind of a new configuration, a new playthrough configuration. Obviously, we will, as before, have the entire map revealed, but in addition to that, we'll also have uh, satellites in various places. Or, if I can figure it out, maybe see if I can get the uh, trade subscriptions with everybody or something. Some Maybe that's possible. I haven't checked the custom, uh, the custom game setup to see if I could do that. Uh, because that's another thing that kind of doesn't matter for this, is whether or not we have rep. Rep is not critical for a space trucker playthrough since, you know, since we're not trying to buy, you know, military ships and and so on. We're not doing a lot of the missions. We're not really doing any of the um, the campaign, the the story missions, and so forth. So, 
again, it's one of those things that it it's really fun to have rep as a concept in a regular playthrough, but in a space trucking game, it again, it's just more hobbling than than interesting. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just run a few more episodes of this and then close it out. Uh, see see what else I can learn about how to do this. And and one of the things that I'm also probably going to do is. Uh, come up with a better way of handling the warehousing because it seems to be it, it works pretty well as far as me delivering to it but it's not distributing automatically i'm kind of having to shepherd that a bit and which is fine i, mean, I don't mind non-automation i mean if if you're doing a space trucker playthrough automation is kind of against the, the spirit of the thing because in reality, in the future, we wouldn't even have pilots. Everything would be done by drone. Uh, why why bother putting a person in a ship to just haul cargo? Why not just do it with a drone? So, uh, so it's already a little bit kind of silly that it's not fully automated. But that's the nature of the game. So yeah, we're going to run to a spot where we can kind of comfortably say, this is, this is the end. And then we will continue on with a new save. Docking aborted. What? Docking granted. Thank you. A new save with a with a new configuration of the game start. Requesting permission to uh, dock. Hello. Docking permission. Why am I am I in the wrong spot? Oh, they put me in the. Uh, I aborted a dock procedure that was already set over there. Okay. Now I'm going over here. And if I, I may even not, if not, um, if not doing like a, a spamming satellites across the entire galaxy right up front, I might add the sector satellites mod, which will let me do that uh, more, uh, more through gameplay, but also not in a tedious way. The nice thing about sector, the sector satellites mod is that it lets you put down satellites that get you all the data about all the all of the stations in a zone, without actually showing you the without re revealing the fog of war essentially, which means that it doesn't mess with uh, frame rates as much when you're in the map. Okay, let's get back to the house. Where is my house? Why am I doing that? That's not what I wanted to do. Start guides. Let's uh, autopilot. autopilot. What the? Uh, what's going on here? Made a little bit of money. All right. You're doing some trades. You're doing some trades. Okay. You're doing one last trade, and then you've got what? You've got advanced composites on hand. Let's see. See if the prices have come back up. Nope, they have not. I want them over six hundred. That it doesn't seem like worthwhile to to sell anything under the, uh, under six hundred. Autopilot disengaged. What the heck is going on with that moon planet configuration? That thing is moving very quickly. The parallax on this is very weird. What the heck is going on? That is bonkers. I wonder if that's a result of the stars mod. It is doing some... I mean, there's no way that thing... Like, in X4, we don't see orbits. That's just not a thing that happens. So, what the heck is that about? But it was in front of the planet. 
but it's moving like it's behind the planet because I was approaching. So weird. What a pilot jump. Entering system. A tick class choice. Yeah, that's got to be the Stars mod doing something goofy because I have never seen that happen under the vanilla skybox. <laughs> I mean, and if it was intentional, it's cool. It makes it look like there's an orbit, but that orbit is way too fast, and it is in the wrong... Um, it's it's an incorrect orientation, because you sh it should be going... It should be moving in the other direction. Well, if it's going really, really fast, it would it would be moving in that direction, but it would have to be going incredibly fast for that Entering to be... system, Argon Prime. ...noticeable in that, in that, while approaching it, which is what we were doing. I mean, not... Not approaching the moon in any re reasonable way, but getting closer to it marginally, so. It should not have moved like that. <laughs> Entering system. Second contact. Alright, I'm going to have to pull up sooner than usual because I am loaded down. Oh, and even that was not soon enough. And it's interesting is that the autopilot can just cheese that. That the autopilot does these like hard braking maneuvers that would absolutely pancake anybody inside the, the ship. But when you do it manually, you are limited to the actual turning speed of your vessel. It's the same trick that the AI uses or the autopilot uses when you're going into a gate and you're coming at it from a weird angle. Kind of just like slides you in, which is fine. I mean, it compensates for n not need, not having absolutely precise calculations, which it really shouldn't have, because if it had absolutely precise calculations, we'd be looking at two frames per second here. And a lot of the things that people complained about with the AI and with, you know, with pathing and so forth are really just down to design decisions that are prioritizing playability over accuracy and I I appreciate that so it uh, it broadens the access uh, the access uh, the accessibility of the game to older computers because if if they were trying to do absolutely perfected AI perfected uh, pathing only cutting edge computers with you know ridiculous amounts of CPU power would would be able to run the game successfully all right let's get rid of this stuff here it's an honor to have you aboard how are these guys doing now? Canister man. Do you, oh, you're done. Okay, you're done with your sales. Do you have any more on hand? No, you do not. Good. What about you? You have got one more trade to go. And you've got antimatter cells. And I don't think... Yeah, you'll have a hundred... What? A hundred left? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do some antimatter cells here. 140. All right. I'll go with that. And now 132. We'll leave that as it is. Okay, what else can we go buy? Uh, let's see. Advanced composites. That's the one we're waiting to get to 600. It's at 500 to sell. Superfluid coolant. Mm. Yeah, because if it's if it's at 591 with a stock of 52, if this gets to triple, if it gets a much higher stock or much sorry much lower stock, then if it goes down to zero, then that's going to be over 600. But that's probably not going to happen because it's it's at 502 here and it's got they've got 2400. So yeah, someone's bound. Someone's bound to transport it. 
And that someone might be us. I really wish there were a proper space trucking uh, game out there that, that functioned, that worked the way modern trucking does, which is to say you take contracts for delivery rather than buying and selling your own stuff. This buying and selling thing is very 19th, 18th, 19th century, so it doesn't really follow modern economics <laughs> very well. Um, and it just really isn't anything. I mean, there are missions in the game to transport stuff, but it's not the primary way that you make money as a trucker. I've been thinking about trying to learn enough game development to be dangerous and make my own. I mean, it would be awful because I have neither time nor the uh, experience to do it properly, um, but it would be fun to give it a go to see if I can just kind of come up with something Silly system. that does Are the job of turning uh, something like Euro Truck Simulator into a space game. I mean, nothing nearly that complex, of course. All right, so we're hoping that it'll be around 502 when we get there. If it's too much higher than that, we're going to have to bail. It's a long way to go. Looks like there's a mission that might be workable here. No, that's deploying a satellite. Mm, doesn't quite suit doesn't quite suit the game the the gameplay that's a repair yeah I mean I, I guess theoretically it, you could we could do this deploying a satellite but it's not really a shipping kind of deal is it I mean it's non-violent which is good but it's not really trucking although honestly maybe no no maybe it is you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah yeah okay that is that is trucking that is trucking because you are bringing a, you're bringing a piece of equipment to a destination and dropping it off. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Docking queued. Docking queued? This is bullshit. Where are you queued? What the heck? Is anybody landing? No one's landing. Oh, it's that guy. Alright, well, I'm gonna stand over here and just stare at you and make you uncomfortable. Get in there. Yeah. 
There we go. Hopefully I'm the next one in line. Come on! Oh, God. Is this going to be like that time I was waiting for my ship to come out? On that other save? Yay! Okay, well, come on. Now I'm going to screw it up? Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see what, we're, what our numbers look like. 498! Yay! That's amazing. Alright. Yeah, we're making money now. Awesome. All right, and that's going to do it for us this time around. Thanks for watching. See you next time.